there, this is my follow-up video sh for using Cricut Design Space on your iPad or iPhone. The interface is a little bit different. Um, you have all of the same functions with the exception of the ability to curve text. Otherwise, you have every other function that is available on the desktop or PC version of Cricut Design Space. We're gonna go over some of this here. When you first open Design Space, you're gonna come in to this main screen that shows the different projects. You can change your categories by clicking on categories in the upper left-hand corner, and that will give you the same list of categories that you see on the desktop version. For your projects in this case, either they're either gonna be stored in the cloud or they're gonna be stored on your iPad. I have all of mine stored in the cloud because typically <clears throat> I'm not out where I don't have internet access where this would be a problem. But if you're planning on using this offline where you're not gonna have internet access, then you would wanna save your projects to the iPad itself. So if it's something you've created on your desktop and saved on the cloud, you would then come in here, open it on your iPad and then save it do a save as and save it to your iPad. So let's start with a new project. So we're gonna click new project just like you do on the desktop version of Design Space. Now you'll notice that the menus are not at the top on Design Space for the iPad. They are all down at the bottom and they're kind of consolidated. So I'm actually gonna turn this landscape. I did have my iPad in the portrait position. I now have it in the landscape position so it's a little bit easier to see. To zoom in or out, you're going to do just like you would do looking at a picture or something on your phone. You're going to just use your fingers and squeeze in or out to zoom in or out on the canvas on your iPad. To add images, that is in the lower left-hand corner. You would click image, you would find whatever it is that you're looking for that you want to add. It will pop up in that bar at the bottom just like it does on the PC version. To filter, it's gonna be in this upper right-hand corner. You can download images to your iPad and save them there. Same thing as with the PC. I don't have any saved that way simply because, like I said, I don't typically use this where I wouldn't have the ability to connect to the internet. You can change this to whatever ownership, if it's free, purchased, Cricut Access, all ownerships, my images, which is going to be anything that you do own either through design or through, I'm sorry, that you have access to through access or things you've purchased to just your uploaded images. Um... You know, you can actually add several filters on here, however you choose to do so. And then you can also change the type, which is going to be 3D backgrounds and textures, borders, um, cards and envelopes, frames. It's going to give you options for any layer, single layer, or multi-layer. The iPad, you still have the ability to search by cartridge name. So in this case, I was looking for the Create a Critter cartridge, so I just typed that name in, and it gives me anything in here that has Critter in the name, or Create in the name, and there are quite a few. So I would cl click on Create a Critter, And then it's going to show me every image that's on the Create a Critter cartridge. So in this case, let's say we're going to take this little penguin. Actually, I don't want the little penguin. I want the hedgehog. <laughs> and we're going to put that into Design Space. Okay. So to size, resize your images in Design Space, it works the same way. You can either click on the arrow in the lower right-hand corner and drag or you can click on edit. And your edit menu is where you're gonna have your height and width adjustments, your rotate adjustments, the ability to flip the image, 
where you want the image positioned on the canvas. No, not 110. One. <laughs> That's not what I want to do. Um, arrange it as far as moving it front or back as when you've got your images stacked, when you're trying to lay something out. Same thing with the alignment as far as if you're trying to get everything, you know, to the left, right, center, however you want it aligned. That is all going to be under your edit menu. Under your actions menu, this is where you're going to get ungroup, attach, detach, group, weld, slice, and flatten, and duplicate. If you click layers, this is going to give you your layers panel. From your layers panel, you can select the individual layers that you may want to edit or work with from this point. So if we wanted to hide the contours, so remove these little pieces in her on her back, we can do that and it removes all of those little pieces. And then bring them all back. To hide a layer, you do that from the layers panel. So we've got that top layer with the little, what's supposed to be the little spikes showing if we click on the eye icon, it hides that layer. If we click on this icon that's got the two stars on the two pages, that would duplicate that layer. And then to delete something, you can either click the red X on the box with the image itself, or you can click the trash can under the layers panel. <clears throat> to add text, you would click text. You can filter your fonts again by ownership and by type. And then you would just type in your, your, your text just like you would on the desktop version. You would size it and everything just like you do on the normal desktop version. To change the font, or to change the style, that's gonna be under your edit menu. When you have font selected, it does give you those extra options as far as letter space and line space, the size of the font, the alignment of the font, and then the style. So in this case, we want it to be writing style, and our font name, or the font that we've chosen is fine. So that would be our font style. Now you'll notice right now the shapes menu icon is grayed out. I'm not sure if this is something that's going away on the iPad or if this is just something that needs updated. I did not have an update up out there at this point to update this, this app, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. But if you need your basic shapes on the iPad, you would just go to image. You would type the type of image you're looking for. And then you can filter this down. And select your shape. To make a card base out of this like we were doing on the other, um, on the PC version, we would take our square, you're going to unlock the aspect ratio. So you're either going to click the little lock here on the square itself, or you can do it on between the measurements here down in the edit menu. So we're gonna make this 11 inches wide. We're gonna make this five and a half inches high. And then we need to add our score line. So because we don't have the shapes, which is where it resides on the PC version, you're gonna go into images and you're gonna type in score line. And there it is. We're going to insert that, and then it's going to be the exact same thing again. We're going to do this at five and a half inches. We're actually going to move our other little stuff out of the way here. You're going to just draw a box to select, except it's selecting my hedgehog, which I don't want to do. And then you would do a line center and it's gonna align your score line 
you would go under actions and you would click attach. So now your score line is attached to your card base just like we did in, in the laptop or the PC desktop version of Design Space. To flatten, it's the exact same process. You would click on your image and click flatten. And it functions just like it does on the main PC version. To upload an image, you would browse files just like you do on the PC version. I don't have anything on here that we can upload because I don't typically do that from the iPad app. I usually do that from the desktop, but it functions the exact same way it does on the desktop. To do print and cut, it's gonna come out here. This is our little print and cut image. It's got the registration marks. You would print this and then put it on your mat and cut just like you would from the desktop version. Thanks for watching and I hope you come back soon.